All right, so we've got 27 of every 48 residents of a small town are male. What fraction of the population is male? So it's 27 of every 48 residents. And just as a minor point, that, that means 27 out of every 48 does not mean there's only 48 in the town. It means that for every 48, 27 are male. So it could be that there's 4,800 in the town and 2,700 are male. Or it could be that there's 480 in the town and 270 are male. But that's the, that's the idea. Um, so, so, um, so in any case, what we just need to do is, okay, it's 27 over 48. 27 out of 48. We make this fraction and then we just, out of 48. We make this fraction and then we just simplify it, right? Um, so, you may not see that these do have a common factor, but if you don't see that something has a common factor, what you can do is factorize the top and bottom. So I think we're going to do that here. So I want you all to split 48 into two factors. And what I mean by that is, if I said split 10 into two factors, I would say, okay, it's 5 times 2. Or if I said, okay, split the number 6 into two factors. Okay, that's 2 times 3. So just split 48 into two factors and see what you come up with, right? Take your time. Good. 16 times 3, right? Times three. Okay, yeah. Times three. Yeah, or, and then the 16 for fun could be split into 8 times 2. Um, another way is, you know, another student might say, okay, 48 is 2 times 24, and 24 is 6 times 4. And that's fine as well. So there's lots of ways of splitting it up. But, but basically, Let's split up, so basically, let's, okay, let's take this. Let's say we said, okay, we've got 8 times 2 times 3 on the bottom. And let's split up 27. 27 is what times what? 9 times 3. Right, 9 times 3. So it's just a nice way of splitting up the, the number. And now if we've got common factors, we can cross cancel. So we can just go 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 3 goes once, right? And does anything else cross cancel? Right, so 9 does not go into 8 or 2. You can't cross-cancel 8 and 2 because they're both on the bottom. You can only cross-cancel factors on the top with factors on the bottom. So 9 times 1 is 9. 8 times 2 is 16 times 1 is 16. So it, the answer is just 9 sixteenths. So an easy way to say the sentence is for every 16 residents, 9 are male, if that makes sense. Right? That would be the simplest way to say that sentence. A more complicated way, but you say for every 54, or for every, uh, let's say, 96 residents, 54 are male. That's making it more, but the simplest way is for every 16 residents, 9 are male. Because that's as far as you can break that down, basically, right?